Hello there, everybody. Uh, Dan Calloway again, and thanks for watching. Um, I'm in my favorite uh, distro of Linux. It's my daily driver, Silent OS version 12, XFCE. Um, and the other day I tried to install VirtualBox in Silent OS, which is Arch-based, obviously, and ran into a problem, uh, ran into a kernel module issue that would require me to um, actually recompile the kernel and I don't want to really have to do that so I gave up on VirtualBox uh, I'm assuming I probably would have the same issue if I tried to do something if with Virtual Machine if you, even if I can run it in Arch but I'm not really sure I can but what I've discovered there is another utility uh, for virtualization that you can run in Arch um, and it's called GNOME-Boxes GNOME Boxes. Um, a great little utility. Uh, unlike VirtualBox, it doesn't store um, virtual machines for long term. Uh, when you run a virtual machine um, and you get out of it, it automatically deletes it. So it's basically a testing environment for virtualization. However, you can use the same utility to connect to a VCN or VNC rather connection to a remote machine, which I'm going to try later. Take a look at that and see how that works. Let me show you how I installed it. Um, I right-clicked here, went into the terminal, and I typed the command sudo, if I can type, sudo pacman dash capital S uh, gnome boxes. Okay, that works. Another one I can do here is pacins because I have a um, shortcut or an alias rather um, in Linux set up by silent robot actually pack ins for the same as pacman or pacman space tac s capital s uh, and so gnome boxes does the same thing hit that it takes about 15 seconds to install this utility and you're you're good to go so let me go ahead and close the terminal and let me go up to the whisker menu and bring that down and type boxes into the uh, well, I was going to. <laughs> Lost it. Give me a second. All right, and um, let's go ahead and hit boxes. Bring it up. And here it comes. It's a really neat utility um, for virtualization. So it says the uh, state-of-the-art virtualization boxes can be virtual or remote machines. Just hit the new button to create your first one. So that's what I'm going to do. Now we're in all here. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, New. And you can see that you can insert an operating system installation media or you can select a source down here. Um, so you can actually pick up, you know, common popular sources uh, of Linux distros as well. You can download an OS if you want to from the web while you're in boxes. You can connect to a remote box uh, using RDP or VNC. I, I'm going to try that later. But right now I want to uh, select a file. I downloaded an ISO, which is the latest ISO of Silent uh, Robots, Silent OS XFCE 13.02.2019. So it's his 13 uh, XFCE-13 version, 64-bit. So I want to go ahead and select that. I'm going to click Open. All right, and so right now it's saying that it's going to run Silent OS XFCE 13 with 2 gigs of RAM, 21.5 gig maximum hard disk, virtual disk. I'm going to click Customize here. I'm going to beef up this memory a little bit. I've got 8 gigs of RAM on my laptop. I'm going to give this 3. I want to give it 4 because that's 50%. I'll keep the disk space the same. All right, let me go back and then let's go ahead and create this. All right. And so it's uh, coming up now. And I'm going to go ahead and boot into the live media. Pretty slick uh, with boxes. Um, you can uh, run a virtual machine just like you would in VirtualBox or VMware. <clears throat> like I said, the only difference is you're not able to store it. I think you can store it, but uh, you have to catch it before it actually automatically deletes the uh, the virtual machine. And I think you could probably get away with doing that. But 
I've let it go ahead and automatically um, delete the uh, virtual machine when I'm done with it. So I'm going to stay in the live media. The other thing you can do once you create the virtual machines, you can install it to hard disk. So uh, you know that would take care of that problem. Uh, you just go ahead and install it directly from the uh, from boxes, which I probably will do at some point. But although I've made a USB stick, um, I will reflash, uh, reinstall my uh, Arch XFCE edition here at some point to get the latest edition with some fixes that Silent Robot has uh, put into the ISO. Great operating system, by the way, very responsive on bare metal, uh, which is the true test, really, for an operating system. Virtual machines, uh, you know, a good way to uh, kind of review an operating system, but it's not really always a good test of how an operating system is going to react. Bare metal is the way to go because it's running on rec regular hardware instead of virtual hardware. Okay, here's a start job that runs. Um, not really sure. It's rebuilding a dynamic linker cache. I'm gonna let it go ahead and finish that. Shouldn't take very long to do it. Less than a minute, I believe. Here we go. So let this come up, and um, you notice when I came in, there was uh, no way to go in and configure the network to make it bridged. So we have the an IP address. Um, that's the same as the host machine. That's unfortunate. Uh, maybe that's because I just haven't figured out how to do it, but I will set up uh, an IPv4 address so I can get out on the web because I do want to update the system here. Show you how I do that. Um, so we give it a few seconds here. Uh, it's actually coming up. I can see the hard drive activity, so it, it's not stalled. And it should come up to uh, 1440 by 900. If it doesn't, I'll get in and check the display and get it up to full screen. I can also just expand it for now um, in the live media because I'm, I'm not going to keep it. <clears throat> here it comes. It's developing up here. All right. Uh, almost there. Okay, uh, here's the uh, VBox client notification. Although I'm not running VBox, uh, but it's telling me I've got a kernel service that's I don't think is running, uh, but we'll see. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and well, first of all, let's get into the connection here. It says that it is active, so I do have an active connection. That's good. Uh, let me come up to the whisker menu here in the virtual machine and let me um, okay, click on it. I, d I thought I had clicked on it, but I didn't. Let me click on display. Okay, and come down. And let's see what I got here for resolution on the screen. Nope, it's not 1440 by 900, so let me go ahead and select the down arrow and come on down. 1440 by 960 by 900, there we go. And let me apply that. All right, so we're up to full screen now. And um, it says I have one package available for update, so let me go ahead and right click on the desktop. Terminal emulator, get into the default terminal, which is the XFCE terminal, I believe. And uh, a few seconds, there we go. Um, I like this prompt here that Silent Robot has set up, it's really nice. Um, so let me go ahead and run a couple of commands to update my system. I'm going to run a sudo uh, pacman tac syu which will refresh the uh, repositories. And the repositories that are set up here are the core, extra, community, and multi-lab, multi-lib. Uh, there is one package. It's called Telegram Desktop, uh, asking me if I want to proceed. Yes. Let me go ahead and do that. 
so we are connected we have a connection to the uh, internet or I wouldn't be able to do this okay let me clear the screen let me go ahead and do a uh, you name R I'm running uh, kernel 4.20.7 TAC Arch 1, TAC 1, TAC Arch. It is the latest kernel. Uh, let me do another command here, free and a, a TAC M switch to see how much uh, RAM I'm actually utilizing in this VM. I've got a um, total of 3 gigs of RAM allocated to this VM and I'm actually only pulling down 338 megs of, uh, of RAM which is pretty good because I am screencasting here with a uh, simple screen recorder so that's that's really good um, this uh, operating system here uh, the silent OS XFCE 13 is 12 is really good looks like 13 is even better um, you know it's a very good performer so let me go ahead and exit here and one of the other things I want to show you this is the panel 2 down here at the bottom uh, it's got all the icons for various various things, you know, like the terminal and the settings manager, etc. Desktop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this over here um, because I don't like it at the bottom. Let me show you how I did that. So I'm going to right click here and select panel preferences. Let me open that up, and I'm going to go over to display. I'm going to unlock the panel, and then I'm going to come up to the mode, change it from horizontal to vertical. Okay, that flips it vertically. So let me move this over. Let me come up here and grab the end of this uh, thing here, and let me drag that over to the left screen and snap it to the left of the screen here. And then let me come up to uh, row size, and let me decrease this down to say about 35. It makes that smaller as you can see over here. Uh, the length is going to be 10% uh, um, one row and it's going to automatically increase the length as I add things in here. Like I said this is a uh, um, live media so I'm not going to keep it so I'm not going to do a lot of tweaking here. I just want to show you that you can move things around if you want to. So let me go ahead and close that and uh, I don't think I locked the panel back. Let me go ahead and lock the panel back so let's right click panel preferences yeah let me lock the panel so it doesn't get moved around let's close okay so it's locked in place and uh, it's smaller than it was down here it's not on the, the bottom in a vertical uh, mode it's in a um, horizontal mode rather it's in a vertical mode which is like I like it um, over here we have the typical uh, players you know you've got your calendar got your time time is not correct but that's okay um, this is your notifier that your systems up to date or not up to date here's the connection it says it's active um, and here is uh, I'm not quite sure what that I think that's clip man and then here's the audio let me come over here to um, Mozilla Firefox let's take a look at Firefox let's see what uh, silent has put in as the latest version. I know that in version 12 he's got the latest version of Mozilla. I think it's uh, Quantum 65.064 bit which is really nice. So we'll check it out here as well as soon as it comes up. It's a little bit slower with 3 gigs of RAM. Uh, I am running 8 gigs on my bare metal uh, laptop so the version 12 of uh, Silent OS XFCE uh, you know, clip right along. Uh, I don't know if it, this came up or not. Doesn't look like it came up. Um, strike. Oh, here it comes. And I think I'm going to get two instances now. There we go. All right. So let's uh, let it come up and develop. There we go. Firefox. All right. So let's take a look at what we have and come down to help. and about Firefox and 
we should have quantum 60, hopefully 65.0. Oh, it's actually better. Quantum 65.0.1. So that's a, an upgrade from the latest version that I had on the uh, Dash 12. This is 64-bit, and it's for Arch Linux. Very good. All right, so let's, let's see if we can get out on the web here. Let's go to www.yahoo.com. Dot com. Yep. Yep. What happened? Here we go. Yahoo.com. Let's see if we can get out on the web. Oh, I've got Yahoo.com. That's not going to go anywhere. Can't type today. There we go. Yahoo.com. No, it's not. Oh, it's <laughs> okay, Dan. Let's try this again. Yahoo.com. There we go. Not yahoo.com.com. And should be coming up here shortly. Just want to make sure we can get out on the web here with this. There we go. Live CD, live media version, connecting okay to the web. So we're we're good to go. So this is a great uh, operating system. Uh, just wanted to show you boxes. Uh, primarily, that's the reason for this video. Show you that you can run a virtual machine or connect to a remote server or remote machine using RDP or VNC uh, using the same utility. And I'll demonstrate the, the VNC capability in, in another video. Just wanted to show you boxes. So let me go ahead and let's go ahead and power down this VM. And let's do a shutdown, and I'll show you that it does automatically delete the virtual machine unless you undo it. It automatically deletes it on exit uh, when it shuts down the virtual machine, which is actually a good thing. Like I said, if you wanted to install it on bare metal, you could do it from within here. Okay, it says it's being automatically deleted, and I could undo it, but I'm not going to. All right, so it's deleted it. So let me go ahead and close boxes. And so this has been a video showing you that uh, you can run something called GNOME boxes in Linux and run a virtual machine, either 32-bit, 64-bit, depending on your architecture, system architecture, and the host. I do have a 64-bit CPU, so not a problem. Um, and, um, and so this is uh, something you can use in the place of uh, VirtualBox or... VMware for Linux. So have a nice day.